Today, I'm going to discuss three simple but very common mistakes made in the greenside bunker. Believe me, you won't want to miss today's lesson a little later today on Winning Golf. everyone and welcome to Winning Golf, the show where everybody wins and today Winning Golf comes to you from the fabulous Penn Oaks Golf Club and joining me as our host today from Thermal Solutions is my good friend Jerry McCaffrey. Jerry, welcome to Winning Golf and Jerry, this is your first Winning Golf show yes. and my goal today is to create a great Winning Golf memory for all of your wonderful guests, Jerry. I believe we have a very special day ahead of us. Yes, we do. We're looking forward to it, Doug. We've got a great group of mechanical contractors here, and we're looking forward to the day. Thank you so much, Jerry. Well, I think it's time, everybody. Are you ready to play some Winning Golf? Yeah. Awesome, awesome. I love your enthusiasm. Now, our first skills challenge today is a three-player putting contest, and Herman Goldner Jr., Sarah Nagorski, and Evan McCaffrey have been invited to participate. Here's the game. All three of you will putt from 10 feet at the same time. Now, whoever rolls it in first will win the prize, and what a prize it is. How about a gift certificate to one of Winning Golf's very special partners, the beautiful Desmond Hotel. Sound awesome? Yeah. Great. Let's get ready to putt. Ready, everyone? One, two, three, putt, and here they come. Well, look at these strokes. Three past the hole, that's a good sign. Who can roll it in first? Oh, Sarah Nikorski rolls it in right in the heart of the cup on her second attempt. That's winning golf. Well, Sarah Nagorski, congratulations. You rolled in your 10-footer on your second attempt. So now you'll get to enjoy some delicious cuisine at the beautiful Desmond Hotel. Sarah, I hope you had a wonderful time in the contest. Doug, it was the best day of my life. <laughs> I, I, I love that answer, Sarah. Well, as you can, well, as you can see, this team from Thermal Solutions certainly knows how to play some winning golf. And the great news is this, we still have lots of exciting contests ahead of us. But first, let's take a tour around today's host facility, one of the hidden jewels of Chester County, the spectacular Penn Oaks Golf Club. Penn Oaks Golf Club, a private club uniquely positioned in both Chester and Delaware counties, opened its doors in 1965. The 142 acres offers golfers amazing views, surrounded by tree-lined fairways, beautiful ponds, lush landscaping, rolling hills, and adventurous terrain. The beautifully manicured golf course was designed by famous golf architect Russell Roberts. From the tips, Pen Oak stretches to over 6,600 yards, and although the narrow fairways and undulating greens can be very challenging, the golf course offers five sets of tees making a day on the course enjoyable for players of all levels. One thing is for sure, with the 20 new 007 Bent Brass USGA Spec Greens, as well as additional course projects such as new tee boxes, bunkers, and cart paths, this golf course is now recognized as one of the true gems in Chester County. We've instituted a long-range plan. Uh, our architect is Stephen Kay, and uh, we've redone two holes completely. This past winter we added two new tees to shorten the golf course to make it more playable for our players. And uh, we continue to do things like that to make the game more enjoyable. In addition to the pristine golf course, the golf amenities are abundant. So we have a brand new recently renovated driving range with uh, four brand new target greens out there and an expanded uh, tee box so members can come up after work practice on their golf games or hone their skills before they go out on the golf course and play. We have two uh, full length putting greens. Uh, we have two chipping greens. One of them we call four and a half and it's out in the golf course in between our fourth and fifth hole. And it's a nice private area to work on pretty much any shot you would encounter on the golf course. The dedicated pro shop staff offers a first class tournament program, a fully stocked pro shop and over the top service to both members and guests. In addition, the Penn Oaks golf staff includes six PGA golf professionals who provide private lessons and clinics for adults, fun and enriching golf camps for juniors, as well as grow the game programs for new golfers. And last but certainly not least, the golf operation now offers four unique modes of transportation to add enjoyment to your round of golf. Uh, what we really enjoy here at Penn Oaks is just welcoming everybody, uh, beginners, golfers that are very highly skilled. Uh, we do a lot with our kids program. 
Uh, we have start off the season with clinics every Sunday. We offer free lessons to them throughout the summer so they can continue to work on their games. Uh, we do a lot of clinics for our members, uh, outside groups as well. And uh, they get an opportunity to learn the game and we like to get everybody involved here. Of course, Penn Oaks offers more than just a golfing experience. The modern clubhouse includes a newly renovated ballroom, a private dining room, as well as a new men's lounge and locker room. Recent construction includes a stunning new club entrance, a popular pub, a gorgeous enclosed pub patio, as well as a ballroom patio and tent area that allows the Penn Oaks staff to host events for up to 400 people. Of course, with new clubhouse facilities, it's important to offer a full culinary experience. At Penn Oaks, whether it's a fine dining, intimate or casual setting, the experience comes with a five-star menu, delicious dishes, selected wines, amazing views, and superior service. And for larger events, such as holiday parties, weddings, bar or bar mitzvahs, corporate meetings or golf outings, the professional clubhouse staff provides three dedicated event coordinators, always ready and willing to exceed your expectations. In fact, the entire staff at Penn Oaks Golf Club has one simple goal in mind for all members and guests, and that is to make your experience at Penn Oaks simply perfect. If interested in finding out information about membership or how to plan your special event, please call 610-399-0501 or check out the web at pennoaksgolfclub.com. Get ready for the Winning Golf Skills Challenge. Winning golf, where everybody wins. Now, let's meet our players. Brad Rice. Brian O'Kane. Evan McCaffrey. Pat Potichin. Sarah Nagorski. Chuck Herbert. Jerry McCaffrey. Mike Alalunis. Herman Goldner Jr. Dave Cameron. Greg Goldner. John Carroll, Joe Gerngross. Our players are set for Doug's FootJoy Lesson Tip and Shoe Contest. FootJoy, the mark of a player. Today's FootJoy Contest comes to you in three parts. Part number one, I'm going to share with you three common mistakes made in the greenside bunker. Part two, Dave Cameron is going to put my bunker tip into action. And part three is the foot joy contest where all of you will get to hit a bunker shot at the same time compete for an unbelievable prize. You ready for this team? How about a brand new pair of foot joy shoes? The number one shoe in golf. Isn't that awesome? Yeah, what a prize. Let's talk about the bunker. One of the keys to a successful bunker shot is the ability to consistently hit about two inches behind that golf ball. If we hit too far behind it, in most cases, the ball will stay in the bunker. If we hit too close to the golf ball, it'll fly over the bunker. So the question is, or I should say fly out of the bunker and over the green. So the question today is, how do we hit that spot consistently, two inches behind the golf ball? Well, here are my three keys. Key number one, with my eyes, I focus on a spot two inches behind that golf ball. When I'm really focusing, I can see a pebble of sand I want to hit with my club head. Now that's focus. I'm not seeing the ball, I'm seeing my spot. Key number two, I want to set my club head over the spot. Most players know they have to hit behind the ball, but many of those same players set their club up near the ball. They wind up hitting the ball, it goes flying over the green. It makes sense to me if I want to hit two inches behind it, let's start the club two inches behind it. Sound good? Yeah. yeah. Key number three, turn over your spot. A lot of players get in the bunker and move their body off the golf ball laterally. They sway off the golf ball. If you have lateral movement in your bunker shot, the odds of hitting that spot consistently are almost zero. So we want to get over that spot with our spine, and we want to turn right over that spot. Make sense? Yeah. So I can summarize this lesson quickly for you. We want to see a spot, we want to start over the spot, and we want to turn over the spot. If you can remember those three things, your bunker game will improve. Sound like a plan? Yeah. Yeah. Awesome. Well, before we get to our exciting foot joy contest, I would love for Dave Cameron to come up and put this tip in action. David, have a nice applause for David. Hey, 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 hey. Thank you for helping out, my friend. Thank you. Okay. Two things I want you to do. I want you to play the ball forward in your stance. Okay. Excellent. And then I want you to open that club face. So your club face should be nice and open. All right. Excellent. Now, let's talk about my three keys. With your eyes, I want you to see a spot two inches behind the ball. Okay. 
All right, a lot of players start here. I want that club to start two inches behind the ball. Excellent. And then I want you to turn over that spot. So let's make a nice turn and stay nice and still and just turn over that spot. Excellent. Excellent. Okay, good. Now I'm going to step back with this wonderful team from Thermal Solutions. When you're ready, I want you to keep that face open, hit your spot, and slide that club through the sand. Okay, sound good? You got it. Let's see what happens. Well, look at this shot, everybody. Yeah. Dave, incredible shot. I hope you learned something today. I did learn something. I'm going to go win that GMC. <laughs> you, you got it. All right, everybody, you ready to try to win a pair of FootJoy shoes? Yeah. Let's do it. For your private or group golf instruction with PGA Golf Professional Doug Hendricks, go to winninggolftv.com or send an email to doug at rdhgolf.com. Now let's see if Doug's tip helps our players as they battle it out for the prize. Brad Rice is the first to test our 25-yard downhill bunker shot. That's the way to hit your spot, Brad. That's a very nice bunker shot. Well done, my friend. Sarah Nagorski understood Doug's tip. Sarah Nagorski, look at this shot by Sarah. Wow, unbelievable. Great job. Dave Cameron sets the mark to beat at four feet from the cup. Look at this touch by Dave, rolling from left to right. And that is winning golf by Dave Cameron. Well done. Brian O'Kane eyes the shoes with this shot to three feet, three inches. And that is winning golf by Brian O'Kane. Awesome job. But Mike Alaluna steals the prize by an inch with this gem to three feet, two inches. How about this bunker shot? Mike Alaluna, oh! Just left out. What a shot by Mike Alaluna. Mike, congratulations, that was a great bunker shot. You hit your spot right behind the golf ball two inches, and you wound up three feet, two inches from the cup. That's great bunker play. So now you'll take home a gorgeous pair of foot joy shoes, the number one shoe in golf. But Mike, my question for you right now is this. How would you like to add a very exciting chipping game to those new foot joy shoes? I would love to. Well, I love your enthusiasm. I hope you get the opportunity when winning golf returns. These major champions choose foot joy. He's right. We do. Because they perform. And look sharp. Thanks, Adam. Rafa here proudly sports the all-new Fury. And these guys? Choose the Pro SL. Because it's the hottest shoe on tour. Foot joy. Foot joy. Foot joy for the win. Shh. Oh, sorry. Foot joy, the number one shoe in golf. I thought. You'll never experience a hotel quite like the Desmond Malvern, a double tree by Hilton. Now you can enjoy a fully renovated hotel with the same great service and staff, as well as our popular two on-site restaurants and pub. Our distinct banquet spaces can accommodate all sizes for any special occasion. The Desmond is also home to the only IACC certified conference center in the area. The Desmond Malvern, a double tree by Hilton, where you can get your Hilton honor points and a cookie too. Prizes and tea gifts for the Winning Golf Skills Challenge provided by Burton Travel Covers, premium quality materials that keep your club safe. Burton. And by T-Squared Putters, custom putters at a stock price. T-Squared. Ahead Advanced Headwear, Embroidery and Design. Ahead. And Titleist Golf Balls, the number one ball in golf. Go to Titleist.com slash tour BP3 to sign up for a free ball plan tour. Doug Hendricks wardrobe provided by the Greg Norman collection. Greg Norman, performance by design. Everybody wins. Welcome back to Winning Golf. It's time now for our chip for a prize. Well, right now, everyone, I'd love to give away a very exciting prize. How's that sound, all of you? Oh, yeah. Awesome. Well, here's the deal. Our terrific host, Jerry McCaffrey, will pull one name out of the hat. That player will then have two chances to chip his or her golf ball inside a 10-foot circle. If successful, that player will win a very exciting game called Chippo. Now, fellas and Sarah, <laughs> Chippo is very similar to the popular game of cornhole. But instead of tossing bean bags into a hole, you're actually chipping golf balls into one. Sound like fun? Yeah. yeah. Uh, this, is, this is not only fun, but this is exciting. And speaking of exciting, Jerry, who's our lucky contestant today here at the beautiful Pen Oaks Golf Club? Jerry, pull one name out of the hat. Jerry, they're getting restless. Who is, who's our lucky contestant? Pat Pottigen. Pat Pottigen. Pat, come on up here. Congratulations, Pat. All right, let me review the challenge for you. I'm going to give you two chip shots from 50 feet. 
If you can leave one of the golf balls inside a 10 foot circle, you'll take home the game of Chippo. You up for the challenge? Sounds good, I can't wait. Good luck, my friend. Thanks, Go Dave. get him. Right. If Pat can chip one of his two golf balls inside the 10 foot circle, Pat will win a very exciting game of Chippo. Will it get to the circle? That's the question, it's tracking. He gets one more attempt. He's just gotta get it up onto the green a little bit and it should roll the rest of the way. This one has a chance. Pat Cottage, and will it get there? He is in the circle. What a great job by Pat. Beautiful touch and tempo on your chip shot. You rolled it in on your first attempt. So now you'll take home the game of Chippo, the hottest game in golf, Pat. I hope you enjoyed the contest. I had a great time. I really appreciate it. Thank you. Looking forward to it. Awesome, my friend. Well, thanks to Chippo Golf, we just gave away an awesome prize. And the exciting news is this. We still have a ton of great prizes to give away in the Winning Golf Skills Challenge. So let's get round one underway. <laughs> Our Winning Golf Skills Challenge will showcase our competitors' short game skills with some challenging shots in three preliminary rounds. If they win a round, they win a prize and valuable extra shots in our all-important Survivor Round. Our top two winners in the Survivor Round will compete in an up-and-in competition to determine this week's champion. Our players start off with a 90-foot uphill chip shot from the fairway. No problem for Herman Goldner Jr. Great touch, Herman. Well done. Nice job. Greg Goldner shows good form. With a beautiful touch and a pitching wedge. And that's right behind the hole. Well done, Greg. Nice job. Evan McCaffrey has a nice short game. You're bringing it high with a pitching wedge, and that is right next to the cup. Well done. Well done. Joe Gerngross is the first to less than 10 feet. Look at this touch by Joe. What an excellent effort, Joe. Well done. John Carroll's effort to seven and a half feet looks good. Look at this touch by John, right on line. Well done, John Carroll. But Brad Rice plays winning golf with this wonderful chip to a foot and a half away. And this could be really good. Brad Rice right next to the hole. That is winning golf, Brad. Yes. Well done. Round two challenges the pitching game with this 35 yarder from the first cut that John Carroll handles nicely. Will it get to the crest? It does. And that's about pin high. Well done, John. Pat Potichin pitches it well. Pat Potichin with a pitching wedge. He's on the back tier, moving from left to right from 35 yards, and that is a beautiful touch by Pat. Well done. Brad Rice's shot finds its way to six and a half feet from the pin. Boy, this could be very good when it's done. Moving from left to right. Look at that touch by Brad. He's got his A game working today. <laughs> Greg Golder is a half foot closer. And this should roll a little bit left to right, and that's a beautiful touch by Greg Goldner. Well done. But the shot of the round belongs to Joe Gerngross. His ball stops at one foot five inches. Moving from left to right, this could be right next to the cup when it's done. And look at this shot. Well, that is winning golf by Joe Gerngross. What a shot. Round three is our putting challenge with this 30 footer that Dave Cameron strokes well. Beautiful stroke by Dave Cameron. And that is a great effort. Well done, Dave. Evan McCaffrey rolls his ball to nine inches. This should move a little bit from left to right. And that is cup high. Well done, Ev. Joe Gerngross matches that. Moving from left to right. And this one's on the right edge. OK, good job. Mike Alalunas coaxes his ball to eight inches. Moving from left to right, and this is right next to the cup. And what a great effort by Mike. Watch John Carroll read this well. This one's got a chance. John Carroll will get to the hole. Oh, right on the left of the cup. Chuck Herbert says, I can do that too. He sinks it. Moving from left to right. If it gets there, it's in the hole. Chuck Herbert, it's in the cup. Well done, Chuck. But that doesn't win the round, thanks to Pat Potichin. Got a chance, everybody. Pat Podgen rolls it in the center of the cup. What a great job. And Jerry McCaffrey. Oh, this is online. This one's got a chance. Our host, Jerry McCaffrey. Unbelievable. That's three <laughs> in the hole. Jerry, Jerry. McCaffrey wins the round in a putt off. Now it's time to check out what's on the tee with PGA professional Doug Hendricks. I'm on the tee today with Mark Williams, the head superintendent here at the beautiful Penn Oaks Golf Club. And Mark, welcome to Winning Golf, my friend. Thanks for having me, Doug. You're quite welcome. Well, Mark, in this business, we have a lot of battles and challenges each and every year. This year, I think the weather was really, really challenging. We had high humidity. We had lots of storms, high heat. 
What do you and your staff do to, to battle those elements? Well, Doug, I've been in this business for over 30 years and no summer has ever been the same. But the one thing what we have is we have a great staff here who really puts the time and effort into maintaining these beautiful greens and this beautiful golf course. They really, the, the key to it though is, is the details that they really put in it. Juan, one of, my, one of my staff members who's an expert at watering, it just goes, they go out with these jugs and actually water small areas. Between him, Chase, and Lewis, and the rest of my staff taking care of this place, little things like that make a difference. Well, that's awesome, Mark. And myself being around here on a daily basis, I, I get to hear a lot of the compliments from members and guests that, that get on this golf course, and you and your staff are just doing an unbelievable job. Keep up the great work, my friend, okay? Thanks, Doug. You're quite welcome. I'll see you next week on the tee. The top two players in our Winning Golf Skills Challenge Survivor Round will advance to compete in a one-on-one -on -one up and in competition to determine this week's champion. Players who've won previous rounds have extra shots to try to get closest to the cup. This week our players are tested with this tough 25-yard short downhill pitch. Herman Goldner Jr. tries to make an impact. Herman Goldner Jr. Greg Goldner pitches it very well. And that's a nice touch by Greg Goldner. Well done. Chuck Herbert's effort looks good at just under six feet. And that's a great touch by Chuck just below the hole. Well nice done. Touch. Jerry McCaffrey is a foot better. This one's got a chance to go in. Jerry McCaffrey. Oh, what an effort by our host. But Sarah Nagorski grabs the first spot of the final with this gem to four feet, eight inches. And this is a wonderful shot. Awesome job by Sarah. And Brian O'Kane leaves no doubt with this pitch to one foot, 10 inches. Brian O'Kane, and that is winning golf, Brian. What a shot. So it will be Nagorski and O'Kane to battle it out in this week's playoff when winning golf comes right back. First six function multi pro tailgate available only on the next generation GMC Sierra. Step up to the ultimate tailgate and get over 10,000 total value on this next generation Sierra Crew Cab SLT or get 18% below MSRP on these cab models with a traditional tailgate. Tailgate like a pro, GMC. Gather with friends and make it a party at PJ's with fresh cocktails and a great selection of local craft. Order up our famous buffalo wings. Philly's mm. number one sports fans catch every game at PJ Willihan's, where every seat is the best seat in the house. Find a location near your neighborhood. Visit pjspub.com. Prizes for winning golf contestants provided by Signs by the Sea, the best custom handmade golf accessories and gifts. Signs by the Sea. And by Chippo, compete against your buddies while working on your short game. Chippo, and by Devant, the number one custom golf towel in the business. Devant, outerwear provided by FootJoy. FootJoy Performance Outerwear, layer up with FootJoy. It's now time for the winning golf up and in playoff. We're on the 18th green and our two finalists are ready to compete for some amazing prizes. A slot in the winning golf championship and a chance to drive home with the keys to a gorgeous GMC terrain. Now the rules for the winning golf up and in playoff are simple. Whoever gets their ball into the cup in the fewest number of strokes will be crowned our winning golf champion. Our first shot in the winning golf up and in playoff will be an 80 foot chip shot from the rough. Sarah Nagorski will have the honors. Sarah carries a 15 handicap and plays most of her golf at Jack Frost National. Her goal is to get up over the tier, and she did. It should get to the back of the green, but it should come back a little bit towards the hole, and look at this effort by Sarah. That is great course management by Sarah Nagorski. And now it's Brian O'Kane's turn to try and battle this challenging 18th green here at Pennoaks Golf Club. Brian owns a 16 handicap and enjoys his golf at Deerwood Country Club. Now Brian's got a seven iron. Moving from left to right. And boy, what a great shot by Brian O'Kane. Looks to be about six feet from the cup. Well, Sarah Nagorski has 15 feet, a little bit downhill and a little bit right to left. 
Boys going towards the hole. Oh, got a little bit firm. Well, Brian O'Kane is in the driver's seat. He's got about six feet. He hit a beautiful chip shot here with his seven iron. If you can roll this in a little bit right to left. Here's the putt. Oh, he left it outside of the hole. So we've got some putting to go here yet. Sarah's got seven feet back up the hill. Here's the putt. Oh, just lips out. All right. Well, Brian O'Kane has three feet to become the winning golf champion here at the beautiful Pen Oaks Golf Club. Brian hit right in the heart of the hole, and Brian O'Kane is our winning golf champion here at the beautiful Pen Oaks Golf Club. Well done, my friend. I hope you had a great experience with winning golf. Oh, thanks, Doug. I've done it a couple times before, and it's patience, practice, and, and I have a good teacher, but thank you. You helped me do this. Well, thank you, Brian. Well, Brian, your experience isn't quite over yet because in a couple minutes, I'm going to give you the chance to putt from only 60 feet for the keys to a gorgeous GMC terrain. Do you have one more pressure shot in you today, my friend? Doug, I need to get here. I Ubered up here, so I got to take that home. So I got another <laughs> choice. I love that answer, my friend. Well, the excitement is building. There's only 60 feet between Brian O'Kane and the keys to a new GMC terrain. So whatever you do, don't touch that remote. We'll be right back with more Winning Golf. Here's your Buick, sir. Actually, that's my Buick. Your Buick doesn't have a roof rack. This is my Buick. How are we going to fit in your mom's Buick? Easy. I like that new Buick. Me too. I was actually talking about that Buick. I knew that. Did you? Buick's fresh new lineup is full of surprises. Kick off football season with Buick. Current eligible non-GM owners get 13 to 20% below MSRP on most of these Buick models. These major champions choose FootJoy. He's right. We do. Because they perform. And look shop. Thanks, Adam. Rafa here proudly sports the all-new Fury. And these guys choose the Pro SL. Because it's the hottest shoe on tour. Foot joy. Foot joy. Foot joy for the win. Shh. Oh, sorry. Foot joy, the number one I shoe in golf. I fuck. It's time on Winning Golf for the Champions Putt, sponsored by your Tri-State Buick GMC dealers. Check out the new GMC terrain at your Tri-State Buick GMC dealer. Each week, our Winning Golf champion will attempt a 60-foot putt to win a gorgeous GMC terrain. Winning Golf is very thankful to have the Tri-State Buick GMC dealers sponsoring this thrilling event. Today's Winning Golf champion, Brian O'Kane, is only 60 feet away from the cup. If he can roll in this putt, I will hand Brian the keys to a spectacular GMC terrain. Let's see what happens. Starting it down the left side. Line looks pretty good. Speed looks pretty good. He got it to the cup, which is the goal. That's a great effort by our champion, Brian O'Kane. Well, I hope you enjoyed today's exciting show from the gorgeous Pen Oaks Golf Club. I would personally like to thank the entire Pen Oaks staff and membership for their warm welcome and over-the-top hospitality. I also want to thank my terrific host, Jerry McCaffrey, and again, congratulate today's winning golf champion, Brian O'Kane. Well, it's time to work on my bunker game, and one thing is for sure, I'll be focusing on my spot, not the ball. Hey, thanks so much for watching Winning Golf, the show where, as you know, everybody wins. I'll see you all next week. Everybody wins.